like I know like like clothes fit fine. I don't know like that's kind of the measure for me, but I don't. I feel better because I'm coming here more often, and I'm really making a much more conscious effort of before. Like when I first started this in January, it was like, eh, I go to the gym a couple times and I hang out with Dan and it's gonna be fine. And but now I've kind of more made the commitment of like this is just how I do life. And so uh, if you look at like the numbers and how they're moving, it's probably super frustrating and why they're not like, why are they not just tumbling? I'm here six days a week and I'm kicking my own butt. But that's just not how it always goes. But I know that down in body fat percentage, so that's important. Things are fitting fine. You know, it's not like all my clothes are falling off my body, which is okay. But there's all those things that you need to look at down a couple of pounds, which is fine. But it's the body fat percentage that's kind of where you really want to, where I think is really important. But you know, everybody want, you want immediate results. We're in an immediate gratification world. And you just, you're not going to lose 700 pounds in the first two minutes. It's just not how it works. So, I mean, I'm excited because I've, I've got in a much better habit of it being part of what I do. Like, I came to the gym yesterday at 5 o'clock. I don't come at 5 o'clock. That's like bizarro time for me. But I'm like, hey, you didn't go today. Got to go at 5. So that's kind of what I've noticed, I guess, is I have more of a commitment than I've ever had before. So, so far. I think the failures are about food, and it's about um, how do you do it? Like, I get up at 3.30 in the morning. How do you find all the time to fit all the food that you need to do and the right foods, and you fall off the wagon a little bit, and that doesn't mean you're, it's over, like, oh, the month is over, I had pizza. So, I mean, I've had pizza, I've done, like, I've had cheeseburgers, but you can't do that every single minute of every single day, but you have to eat enough food where it, feels good like I've done a really good job of trying not to um, partake in a lot of partying style things whether it's uh, food or beverage and so that is just trying to change that a little bit so not to stop doing anything fun and make life boring but just to try to be a little bit more monitor what you're doing what's going in your body knowing that is this is a carb this is a protein this is a fat how does that affect and you know, carbs are not, the, everybody's like, oh, I can't eat that carbs at all. Well, you can, but they're not the carbs that you eat when you have deep fried cheese curds, which are amazing, but that's really not what you're supposed to have. There are good carbs, so carbs aren't the enemy, and I think that's the whole mindset they have to learn, and fat is okay, but it's the good fat. It's, again, not deep fried cheese curds, which sound delicious, but you can't have them every single day of every, and think that everything is gonna be fine. You have to change your habits, so that's my failure, I think, is in the food department is not doing it always right, maybe not doing enough. And then even last night, I just looked at what I had eaten that day and I'm like, how would I finding room to eat more food? That's the challenge. And you've gotta find things really quick, easy things. And the other thing you have to do is you have to plan. Like I plan on Sunday, I make a lot of food so that you don't have to worry about doing it every single night because otherwise it's like, well, let's just go out to eat. Let's just go grab something quick. And you know that's usually not the best for you. So I think food is always going to be the issue. Everybody thinks that you can just come to the gym and it melts away and it's no problem. Fortunately, not the case. I think the, I think the body fat percentage is what I'm going to hang my hat on right now because that's where I see progress and I think that just leads to what is that healthy kind of um, makeup of your body. That's what you have to look at. Yeah, these numbers and when you measure it, they don't, they haven't really changed but I don't you know, that's frustrating because you're like, well, I come here every day. Why is it not just falling off, just losing weight like crazy? But it's just, you know, maybe this is what, it's just, this is it. This is what I'm going to look like, which isn't, I'm not mad about it, but what's that healthy body weight? What does that healthy look for you? And it's different for everybody. And maybe this is it. You know, maybe this is what we're doing. And as long as I keep coming to the gym and doing the right thing, and I'm still going to be healthier than the average person, and I'm all about that. That's really what the goal is now, is what's that healthy look, healthy body, healthy image. That's what we're trying to get, which is very different for everybody, and that's why it's tricky. I'm wearing a bikini in three weeks, come hell or high water, man, that's what's happening. But, and I'm not embarrassed about what this is gonna be on display, like this is gonna be on show and it's gonna be fine, I'm not embarrassed about that. I just, I think part of it is just being confident in what you rock and knowing that I'm, making good choices, I'm doing healthy things, I'm making it to the gym, and it's going to pay off. 
but maybe not in the first 10 minutes. Maybe it's more of a, it's gonna take a little bit of time. People don't, I didn't, you didn't gain weight in three days, you're not gonna lose weight in three days. So that's what you gotta remember. And 60 days, even though that's a pretty good time frame, we've been in about 45 days now, uh, maybe about 40 days. So I feel like we've made some progress, but you talk to me in six months, we should have, we will be in business.